composing an email using Gmail. Let's learn one of the basic features of Gmail account. How to compose an email. Click on compose button to your left hand side. You will get a new pop up named as new message. You can enter in full screen mode by clicking on second option. Now start composing the mail. Two, type the email address of recipients of your mail, meaning email IDs of people from whom you want to send the mails. CC that is carbon copy. A copy of your email will be sent to the person whose email address is typed in the CC field. A CC is usually sent to people who need to know the email in conversation is taking place but may not be expected to reply to the mail. BCC that is blind carbon copy. There may be cases where you may not want recipients of a mail to see the names of the other recipients. BCC option allows you to hide the email addresses of persons entered in the BCC field. However, the person in the BCC field can view the email addresses entered in to and CC fields. Subject It is a heading of the mail. The recipient of mail will know the topic of mail from subject line. Body of mail. Now in the space provided below subject line, you can type your mail. Attach files. Here you can attach number of files of various formats supported by Google. Gmail supports files up to 25 MB for single mail. When you click on attachment icon, you can browse the files on your computer. Select the file you wish to attach. Click on open and file will be uploaded where loading bar will be visible. The loading time will depend upon your internet bandwidth. Once file is uploaded, its name will appear in blue color. If you wish to delete the attached file, click on cross besides the file name. You can also attach your files from Google Drive by clicking on its icon. Then you can also attach photos or can upload photos from your computer or you can simply drag the files from computer and drop it in the space provided. Or you can also enter web URL to insert the picture. If you want to insert links, if any, click on its option. You will get a small pop-up. Select web address, paste URL you wish to send and in text display option, you can write what is URL about. Click on OK. Formatting options. There are various options to format the text of mail by changing font, font size, font style, font color, alignment, text, bulleting, indentation, etc. After composing an email, the last and most important step, click on send button. After clicking on send button, you will get a message on top of a screen as your message has been sent, view the message. Now, you can view your sent mail in a sent mail section. Now, how can we save the mail? We don't need to save the mail because Gmail is doing this for us. While you are composing the mail, Gmail 
is automatically saving your mail suppose there is a loss of internet connectivity or accidentally window is closed and you are not able to send the mail this same mail which you were composing will be saved in your drafts reply and forward the other basic function is to receive the mails and send a reply to them whenever you receive a new mail in your inbox click on that mail and you will be able to read it at the end of the mail there will be options reply and forward reply option will enable you to reply to the recipient of mail the email address of recipient will be automatically added in to field while replying you can also attach a file to delete reply click on delete button next we will see the forward option forward option enables you to forward the save mail to other recipients when you click on forward option you will notice that to field will be blank add the recipients to whom you want to forward the mail many times you want to edit the subject line click on arrow button besides the to field you will have drop down menu select edit subject now edit the subject and click on send button This was all about composing an email. Thank you.